So, what are y'all's majors? How are you like in freshman year? Tell me everything. We're actually both marketing majors. What are y'all's names? I'm Jessica Bradford, and this is my best friend, Bonnie Holloway. I'm sorry, honey. What was your name again? Bonnie Holloway. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm so, so sorry, but I don't think you were supposed to be invited back for the final round. I, I, I see Jessica's name on here, but there's no, there's no Bonnie Holloway. I'm sorry, what? Oh my God, I don't know what you expected. I literally didn't get an invitation. It can't get lost in the mail, dumbass. It was supposed to be a text. I didn't think the absence of an invite meant you were flat out cut. Well, I'm dropping too, obviously. Whoa, you are not dropping Rush because of me. Plus, you got along with them way better than I did. Of course I'm dropping. If they don't want you, I don't want them. If you say so. Oh, your mom's gonna be pissed, though. Hold on. This could be it. Our freshman year is about to end, and we've got one last chance to find our niche. Fuck the Valentines. We're going e-girl. This is ridiculous. Why not? This could be our thing. We tried tennis. We tried the Valentines. We even tried that weird horse girl club. Freshman year is about to end. And my sophomore syllabus week, fun fact, is going to be the same damn thing as last year. A crime. Uh. What the hell? Indy it is. <laughs> Today we're covering our last topic before your final next week, the art of rebranding. Now the first thing to think about is what does it mean to rebrand? What is your brand in the first place? We'll be going over three important steps to rebranding as a public figure. Step one, observation. This is it. The hub of indie culture. You know, my dad got us skateboards as a kid. Well, no, I probably can't do it anymore. Okay, look, they, they all keep doing some sort of um, handshake thing. So they're like, they're grasping at the ends and... Oh, oh uh, no, that's... Uh, that's <laughs> you guys uh, undercover cops? No, 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 no. Um, I, I used to skate as a kid, and so we were just like getting a refresher. Uh, I feel like that uh, requires you to get on a board, though. I'm surprised to see that poster, uh, but the treehouse doesn't seem like y'all seen. Uh, <laughs> well, uh, I'm in a band performing there this weekend if you guys want to stop by and say hi, but that's only if you guys make it past the car and the binoculars. <laughs> okay. That was mortifying. Oh, calm down. I think he was trying to be funny. We have got to get going with phase two. Step two, transformation. I'm a creep. I'm a freak. Really? I thought that one was easy. Okay, come on. Okay, name two members of Nirvana. Okay, Nirvana. Um, uh, Kurt Cobain and the Foo Fighters guy. Am I supposed to know what Foo Fighters is? What are those? Cigarettes. Do you even have a lighter, Jessica? What year did Tony Hawk land the first 900? Um, 1999. Wrong. Hey, that's, that's actually right. Step three, infiltration. Alrighty, go on in. What? No, you go first. You're the one who kept getting those questions, right? It's not a game, Jesse. I just listened to a lot of that stuff when I was a kid with my parents. Hey, it's Jessica and Bonnie, right? I'm Sarah from Valentine's. 
You guys look really I cute. go by Jesse now, actually. Much cooler than Jessica. Oh, cool. Look, I'm, I'm really sorry about the whole rush mix-up thing. The whole process can be overwhelming and I know it's hard, but y'all should really reconsider and try out next year. And if you ever need anything, please reach out to me. Okay. Good night. Bye. Hey, honestly, you should reach out. You really liked her at the start of Rush. Hey, we can have different okay, friends, the party you know? is waiting. No time for chit-chat. So, uh, you ever heard of those tracks? Um, no, I only listen to music my girl. This new kombucha flavor. Honestly, it makes it feel like an, an earth goddess reincarnated. Hello, oh, man. I'm just living in this fort right now, but I'm just gonna run for once. You're so right. So rad. You guys sound just like Alt K. Uh, thank you. Um, I didn't catch you guys' names. I'm Kellen, by the way. I'm Bonnie. And, and I'm this is Jesse. Oh. I love you guys' sound. Um, how'd you guys get started as a band? That's actually a really funny story. Um, can you hold it real quick? Thank you. Um, so my dad was a young age. Oh my god, I think Helen just asked me out. It's gonna teach me all about piano and are you okay? Um, no, actually, my stomach is kind of hurting. I think I might head out. Are you sure? I, do you want me to go with you? Um, you, you should stay. Okay. Hey, um, we're about to go back on, but uh, better see you in the front row, all right? Yeah, I'll be there. I'm so glad you dragged me to that party. Mm -hmm. oh, hey, how's uh, how's your stomach doing? Also, okay, me and Kellen are totally. <laughs> you like Kellen so much. Okay, whoa, what is wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? Well, I'm the one who got us to that damn party, and then you went and left me out the whole time. Okay, I didn't leave you out. Maybe you just didn't fit in. Well, I left the people that I did fit in with for you. I have done 
everything for us and then you can't even leave a party with me when I am clearly uncomfortable? Okay, I never asked you to drop Rush. I never asked for any of this, okay? We don't have to be the same person anymore, Jessica. Why can't you fight for me like I fight for you? I have done everything that I can to rebrand and, and oh you- Oh my God, shut up about the rebrand. This is about the fact that it's been an entire year in college and we don't have a single friend outside of each other. Don't blame me for outgrowing you. Just Jessica. I hope you had a good summer. Yeah, 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 you too. You too. <clears throat> we should catch up and get some coffee or something. Maybe. You know how to reach me. Right. I'll see you around. Have a good semester. Expecting someone special tonight or what? No, just my family. Minus my dad, he was busy, but that's kind of always the case. So just my mom. Johnny, I don't actually care. What I meant to convey. Everybody should be getting into costume now. Dinner is hey, over. Shit, let's go. This is kind of sus. Yeah, man. I'm in the perfect that you came in here. I need to borrow your car. Do not tell me you forgot your costume at home on opening night. What universe do you live in? Get off your phone! We are not starting late because the male ensemble can't get it together. Ma'am. Johnny, I, I don't even know what to say to you. Do, do you remotely give a shit that they're gonna hang you in a public square for this? No! 
Come on. So, is Johnny like a duke or a prince or some kind of soldier? More like fish monster type thing that lives in a cave by himself. Oh, okay. Maybe your dad would have found this interesting. I guess. Well, at least you and I are here to cheer him on. Oh, I'm excited. <laughs> Honestly, me too. Looks like they've been working hard on this. Johnny's been working so hard. It's gonna be so great. Did you just steal my car? And I'll be forever grateful for your generosity in my hour of need. I swear to God, man, you better come back with your costume and my car without a scratch, or I will throw you under the bus so hard. Alan, I know that isn't you talking on your phone in the bathroom. Hello? Son of a bitch, Johnny. Shit. Places in 20. Thank you, Johnny. Hey there, Johnny. Evening, Officer Ramirez. Remember, call me Tammy. Yes, ma'am. Your sister turns 16 soon, right? Yeah, next week. <laughs> Man, I remember when y'all were yay tall. Wow. Well, you were driving pretty fast, and you ran that red. But it's your first offense, so I'm gonna let you off with a warning. How's that? That's amazing. Thank you, Tammy. Officer Tammy Ramirez. All right. Stay safe out there. Me too. Is this a new car? Yep. You know, my daughter's also turning 16. Y'all should swing by. We're having this big old barbecue, and I was thinking Listen, that Listen, Tammy, I'm sorry. I really gotta go. Johnny, do you know where your mother and your sister are? They're not answering their phone. Their phones are probably off throughout the show. Oh, damn. That was tonight? Jesus Christ. Oh, God, I'm sorry. Uh, just been losing track lately. I mean, you, you know how it is. How was school? Listen, I need you to drive me to school in the car parked outside, okay? while I get into costume. <laughs> oh, so the show hasn't started. It's about to, we need to leave. Now. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Is that for Baldi? Psst, hey, something wrong, Alan? What's the deal? By the way, what's up with Johnny? Yeah, where did he go? Look, is it diarrhea? I have Pepto-Bismol in my backpack. It, it, it happens to me all the time. What is he on his period? Yes. Look, Johnny, I, I, I know that life for someone your age isn't always easy, and, and I haven't always been super helpful in alleviating well, that. I don't know, Dad. Sometimes it's kind of tough to tell if you like remotely care, like at all, about anything Olivia and I do. You know, I, I can understand that. But you know, you have to understand that- No, I... Dad, what happens is that if someone you like, I don't know, care about, doesn't seem to care about something you're doing, you start to wonder. Like, well, should I care about this thing that I'm doing? Uh, of course, Johnny, you should care. Of course you should. Well, it's how important that... can this be? Really, if Dad doesn't give a damn. Hey, watch it. Uh, look, I I'm sorry, okay? Uh, it's just the way that I was brought up. But I guess I just wanted you and your your sister to learn a little bit of the, the self-reliance, you know? Well, what about mom? I mean, she shows up to everything. What the hell is she doing? All right. I know that there's more that I could do, okay? But that doesn't give you the right to talk to me like that. I am a mother pheasant plucker. I pluck mother pheasants. Wherever Johnny is, 
Jesus, y'all better pray he doesn't miss his cue. Tammy! <laughs> well, long time no see. Hey there, Frank. How's the family? Your daughter turns 16 soon, doesn't she? Does she, uh, she, she does? See, my daughter's birthday's coming up. We're having a barbecue. Y'all should swing. How long is this gonna take? Excuse me? I'm sorry, but I'm really, really late, and I just absolutely need to get there right now. Yeah, actually, Tammy, uh, uh, if we could continue this uh, uh, later at the uh, at the school, uh, preferably after his performance, that'd be great. Uh, uh, sorry about the red, but I'm sure you can understand. So, uh, uh, bye. I'll, uh, I'll catch Frank, you later. You um, those are nice nails. Though, by the way. Let's go. <laughs> Is that the school over there? I've been going here for three years. Dad, thanks. Let's go. Shake it off. Come on, we'll come visit Caliban, my slave, who never yields us kind answer. Tis a villain, sir. I do not love to look on. But as tis, he does make our fire. Fetching wood and serves in offices. That prompted us. What ho, slave? Caliban, thou art thou, speak! Slave, go by the devil himself upon thy wicked death. Come forth! Ah! I must have my dinner. This island's mine by secret, my mother, which thou takest from me. When thou camest first, thou strokest me. Frank, you and made me a special And did you not a name in the bigger light? And now the less. That burn by day and night. And then I love thee, cursed be I that did so. All the charms of Sycorax, toads, beetles, bats, light on you, for I am all the subjects you have. Which first was mine own king. And here you sty me. And this hard rock, whilst you keep from me the rest of the island. Ah! Woo! Woo! Ah! Woo! Yeah, he is good, but she said, who is that for me? I believe that that's how they know.
Is she there? You want to talk about it? Let's just go back to sleep. Hey, Nadine, can you help me with the groceries, baby? I know this isn't your favorite thing to talk about, but I think you should know what's going on with the foundation. So, all the all the paperwork has been submitted, and now we're just waiting on approval. Uh, we got a meeting with the mayor scheduled for tomorrow for the grand for the grand Jack, opening. Just in case. No, I don't. Where's the peanut butter I asked for? Shit. That's that's what I forgot. Mm. Again. Oh. Maybe ne neither one of us eats peanut butter though. <sighs> Rose does. Something. What's this for? 
That's really beautiful. Thank you. I mean, I think you would look beautiful wearing it at the grand opening, so. The Rose Foundation, which seeks to understand the link between mental health and violence, held its grand opening today. The foundation opened just seven months after the shooting at Johnson Elementary School. That shooting claimed the lives of 11 children and... I'm home. What? Rose wouldn't want any of this. Because you know what Rose would have wanted? How long are you going to keep this up? Huh? I don't know, Jack. A week? A month? A year? Oh my God, for heaven's sakes, Nadine! Come on! You can't keep doing this for the rest of your life. Who said You just can't. You, you get over yourself! Get over yourself, okay? That shit, Jack, right? I am hurting. I am hurting. So bad. And you don't think I am? Well, you don't fucking act like oh, it. I don't fucking act like it. I don't fucking act like it just because I don't cry every day. Yeah, and I don't fix rolls of fucking play. Doesn't mean that I feel it. You don't understand do. that I am trying. I replay that day in my head every second. Nadine, that doesn't do that. any good. That doesn't do any good. That doesn't help me. No, that's not. That's not. That's not what I'm saying. That's not what I'm saying. If you can't, I did, if you can't handle it, I. Nadine, I listen, Nadine. I can. And I will continue to. But I think at some point, we got to just move on. I'm sorry, Jack. But I am never going to just move on.
I'm sorry. Um, I love you. Maybe I love you. <laughs> Thanks again for inviting me to the book club, Teresa. You're home. Oh, oh it's lovely. Oh, the pleasure's all mine, Michelle. Well, it's all ours. I mean, we're just so happy to welcome a new mom to the neighborhood. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, um, so how do these things usually go? <laughs> it's okay, they're not laughing at you. Teresa didn't explain, did she? This isn't a real book club. I mean, it's just because none of us actually have time to read books. Apologies if you're disappointed, but I promise tonight is going to be so much fun, even without the book. You can really just get to know everyone. Honestly, Michelle, I feel like I already know you. I've listened to almost every single one of your podcasts. Oh, wow. Thanks, Stacy. I didn't realize I, I had told a them all about your internet radio show. What are they called again? Real crime? True crime. I make a podcast where I talk about interesting criminal cases. <laughs> Shouldn't you leave things like that to the police? Or, you know, the lawyers, like, like April. I'm a divorce lawyer, Dottie. The biggest crimes I solve are who gets the Prada bag. <laughs> Honestly. Anyway, here's my card. Oh, um. You can thank me later. Um, um. My husband is dead. <gasps> oh, oh, oh. Well, if you decide to remarry. Michelle, would you help me in the kitchen with the snacks? Would you mind getting that one set up? Oh, well, yeah. Uh, no worries. I love carrots. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, I'm curious, how did you find out about my podcast? Nothing gets past me. Mm. I loved your Unsolved episode. So fascinating. Yeah, and a lot of people would agree with you, apparently. <clears throat> which is surprising, <clears throat> considering I could not find too many details <clears throat> about it. I guess people just really like the... <clears throat> Teresa? Oh, can I get some help in here? What's going on? Oh, oh. What, what did you see? Come on. <gasps> oh, my God. Oh. Oh, oh, dear. Oh, what I, happened? I don't, I don't know. She just fell. I don't, I don't think she's breathing. <gasps> Teresa, wake up. She said not breathing, not sleeping. Check her pulse. Oh, no, 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 no. Wait, 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 w
Michelle. Did you say something? Sorry. What are you holding? Oh, I... I accidentally picked it up. I thought it was mine, but... So it's, that's not yours. That's Teresa's journal. Why do you have that? Or oh, Teresa's... And you're reading her I, diary! I didn't know, oh. but something in here is... It's not all adding right, up. Michelle, just, just give me the journal. Oh, shit. There's just all these things about all of you in here. What are you talking about? Oh, I should have known. What did Teresa do? Apparently, Teresa was the one who told Leslie that I ran over our dog. We spent months in couples therapy over this. Oh, you. You actually blackmailed Richard's ex-wife to leave town? She's obviously lying. She has the text, Stacy. Oh, I knew it. Oh, you are so trashy. Excuse me? Oh, yeah, no, what kind of gold just, digger is gonna go We around? don't need to argue about this. I agree. We're focusing on the wrong thing here. Give that to me, Stacy. Stacy, give me that book. <laughs> oh, bitch. Estelle here has been letting Bryce clean her pearl. <laughs> Bryce? Isn't he a minor? No. He is not a minor. He's 18. Michelle, what are you doing? Why did you pick that up? If I hadn't picked it up, then we wouldn't have found this. Oh. See? Oh my fucking god. But that cannot be true. I think Teresa was, I don't know, poisoned. And from what this journal contains, every one of you has a motive. No, she, she probably just had a heart attack or, or a stroke. All right, what's going on, Michelle? Are you doing some like sick special for your little show? We don't know anything about her. And her dead husband? Jesus, don't bring her dead husband into this. Sick. How did he die? Erotic asphyxiation. Oh, shit. He was with his secretary. Hold on, are we in over our heads here? I mean, murder? No, no, none of us could have hurt her. The, we're moms, we, we don't kill people. Most of us are moms anyway. Sorry, my vagina's not the Grand Canyon from pushing out kids like yours is? Do you not ever talk about Does my vagina? Does Bryce get lost down there? <gasps> Do you have to help him? Gus, you're you disgusting. Oh, my, oh, my. oh, oh yeah, right. Okay, I, 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 I cannot here. handle this. I just can't handle it right now. This is what you did. Michelle, what are you doing? I'll go after her, I guess. Dorothy? What'd you find, sweetie? Come on, turn around. You, you, you don't want to do this. You're right. I don't. But I will. Put it down. 
Let's go. Just shut the fuck oh, up! Shit. That one coming. Oh. Dottie? How could you do this? Seriously. You are one to talk. You're banging her kid. He's 18. Don't yell at the person with the gun. You do have a brain. Look, like I told Michelle, I don't want to kill any of you. But I'm probably going to. You poisoned Teresa. That was not my fault. She put her nose into my business, much like you. Teresa figured out what she did. You were the unsolved case. It was perfect. And then 30 years later, you and your stupid podcast had to feature my case. Now I have to move all over again. And I hate packing. OK, just calm down. I'm sure we can figure this out like moms. True confession, I never really liked my children. God, you screw everything! Except apparently your husband. Come on, let's just get this over with. I really want to get back in time to watch Jeopardy. We should really talk about you and Bryce. But you were dead. We all thought you were dead. Why aren't you dead? When I got a letter threatening me to keep my mouth shut, I knew Dorothy knew that I knew. It's only a matter of time before she tried something. And you didn't think, I don't know, to call the police? When I noticed she slipped something into my drink, I just switched my glass with Estelle's. What? I'm joking, of course. I poured out my glass, I took a barbiturate, and I acted like I was dead. My pulse slowed, my body grew cold. My plan was, in the hospital, I would explain everything. Y yeah, or you could have just called the police. This is my neighborhood. I make the rules here. Welcome to the neighborhood. Uh, uh, so, same time next week.
Hi, Jane. Where's Jerry? Don't I get to see him? Welcome to Project Afterlife. Jerry will be with you shortly upon completion of the quick setup process. Our service is known for bringing back faithful recreations of your loved one, but you can also explore other advanced customs. I, I just want him back. I just want my Jerry back. You got it. That's what most people choose. Thank you for ensuring your trust in us. Why don't we have a steak tonight for dinner? The one I always make for you. Yes, yes. You know, of all the dishes you make me, that's my absolute favorite. Wait, go back. You always forget the garlic. Oh, sorry. plant-based meat substitutes everybody keeps talking about. You know, I have been dying to try these. No, pumpkin. You cannot make steak out of plants. But I heard they're healthier for you and just so much better for the environment. How can that be good for you? You can only make real steaks out of real meat. Add the salt till right before you put it in the pan. That's right. Okay, it's been three minutes. What do I do now? I put the steak in a direction away from you. Immediately add the butter, garlic, rosemary. Can you imagine your life without me, pumpkin? Oh, I'd probably still be melting to go containers in the microwave. I'm so glad I have you back. Look, I know that coming to the park with me isn't exactly your favorite thing to do, but come on, let's face it. Now it's not exactly like you have much of a choice. Oh my God, Jane, is that you? <laughs> Celine, oh my God. Oh my it's God. been forever since I heard from you. Hey, let me call you back, okay. I can't believe how I've completely lost track of everybody since I got married. How have you been? Oh, girl, the same old. You know, after the kids went off to school, I left that bastard what? to live alone. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of like starting fresh after years of responsibility. Wow. Time has just passed us by. We have so much to catch up on. Yeah, we really do. You know, Jane, I heard about your husband passing away some time ago. Yeah. I'm sorry, it must have been tough. Yeah. But hey, time for a change, right? Uh. Right? Uh, actually, I'm hosting our 30-year reunion for our graduating class, and you should totally come. It's in two weeks. How about oh, it? Well, thank you. Sincerely, thank you, but he's still very much with me, though. So. Oh, Jane, I knew you weren't the type to move on, so that's what I'm here for. All right, give you a little push. Okay, you should totally come. Maybe we can meet some fine bachelors. Oh, I don't know about that, but oh, okay, 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 okay. Okay. I'll come. Okay. But only as your company. Yeah. Fine. Yeah? Fine with me. Great. Yeah. Remember, it's on Sunday, two weeks from today. All right, I will send you an email with all the deets. Okay. Don't okay. stand me up, Jay. I won't. I promise. I'm sorry. I, I got to go. I got to take this call, but okay. I will see you then. I will. Okay. I'll be there. It was good seeing you. It's good to see you, too. <laughs> Bye. Bye. That was so unexpected. Celine has not changed a bit. It's going to be so exciting to see all those old faces. Babe? Honey, it's just one night. You don't expect me to sit at home with you day in and day out, do you? Can you at least be excited for me?
Hey, pumpkin, I've got to tell you, you don't need to keep getting ready anymore. <laughs> what do you mean? Why? Celine called last week and said they had to move it up to Saturday instead. I told her you wouldn't be able to make it. Wait, what? Are you serious? Are you telling me that it was yesterday? You didn't miss much. Look, I have something special for you. I've prepared date night for us. Dance with me, pumpkin, just like old times. Why didn't you tell me that Celine called? You didn't need to know. You're better off not going. What makes you think that you have the right to keep that information from me? What makes you think that you have the right to make that choice for me? Look around you. Everything we have today, everything you have today, are the results of my decisions. What would you be without me? I would probably be at the reunion, seeing new people for once and having a great time with Celine. It was a mistake to bring you back. You think life would be easier? You would be miserable without me. It's pathetic to think you could even had do enough. it alone. You couldn't even- Not letting you stop me anymore. Hi. Hi, Jane. How can we help you today? Um, I'd like to return this and, um, terminate my subscription. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear about that. May I ask, did our services fail to live up to its promise? Uh, no, no, actually, it was, um, very much like him. Um, I think maybe I'm just not ready to have him back yet. I see. We have had a few similar edge cases like that. Just one moment, ma'am. Okay. So, if you proceed to terminate, then all of the precious data we collected will expire in a year. However, I can walk you through our most exclusive feature of identity augmentation. It has helped many customers tweak their partners to find healthier and more fulfilling relationships. What exactly do you mean by um, identity augmentation? As you know, our AI products are built on real life identities. Only a recent breakthrough has allowed us to alter selective traits of your loved ones to your liking without impact on memory or stability. Check this out. <laughs> oh! Isn't Milo the best? Yes! I couldn't imagine living without him. Oh, he's adorable. I'm so glad you brought him back. Jane, thank you so much for coming out with me last night. That was the best night that I've had since I can remember. I'm so glad you talked me into going out dancing. Hey, Jerry, aren't you jealous? She went out dancing without you. Not at all. Couldn't be happier seeing her live her best life. Oh, he really did mm -hmm. change. <laughs> you know, I should have known something was up when I got an invite for today from him. Mm -hmm. I never would have thought in a million years. Thank you both for having me over. It's all pumpkin. She brings out the very best in me.
So, how may I help you?
Looks like you got a flat. Need some help? Oh, no, it's okay. Um, I'm having tire repair come in a minute. Hmm. Nail, maybe? Maybe. How long till they arrive? Not long. Um, maybe 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. It's a long time to wait out here by yourself at this hour. <laughs> For sure. You all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah. It's like your shoulder's in some pain. Oh, no, it's... It's nothing. It's it's all right. What happened? Work accident. May I take a look? Oh no, it's yeah. okay. Really? Just hey, hey, what the fuck? Hey, what the fuck? No, stop, 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 Better? I didn't ask you to do that. You don't have to be ungrateful. <gasps> Is that the order for Sophie? Um, uh, yeah. I am digging your side hustle. Pays more than my day job. <laughs> Are you kidding me? 
Texas Penal Code 3103, theft. Potentially robbery, but no bodily harm. The fine always outweighs the reward. Slim. Girl Scout. How'd you manage to get in? Maybe you should look into upgrading your security. Look, it wasn't my fault. Did you see how fucking zen I was? And now you're gonna make me deal with this empty-handed bullshit. This woman completely came out of- I don't pay you to lose my money! The cut I give you is already more than generous. Generous? Yeah, you don't pay me nearly enough to get mugged. Well, a girl like you might consider some self-defense. A guy like you might consider some cash alternative. Cash leaves no paper trail. I told you that a thousand fucking times. No paper trails. Well, consider this my letter of resignation. No, 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 no. I can't afford to lose my nice profit and my delivery girl. You're not leaving till you make back what's missing. Look, I'm sure someone would love this job, but I've been telling you for weeks I'm out. No one else has your foolproof cover. It's you and me versus everyone on this turf. If you feel blessed, you haven't met that or competition yet. I'll be seeing your ass tomorrow. Hey, girl, go. Hey, what's wrong with you? Rough day? Just some problems at work. Oh. Well, something tells me that you won't be delivering cookies for much longer. What do you mean? something came for you today. Hmm? Hmm? Oh my god. 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 Oh my god! 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 O
crowd is silent, lights can dim, and the show don't start until I step in. I just play so proper, the crowd is so rock of what I got on my suit, I'm a drift in the growth rider. Others cool compared to me, they know not to shut up down with the showstopper. Why don't you bring that sweet ass inside so we can share these tasty treats? <laughs> what kind of super villain shit was that? Yo, Slim, some freaky ass shit just went down with your girl. Is that a letter from your grandma? Oh, it's just from Mimi. It's some video link. Ooh, well, if we're having movie night, you better get those cookies. Maybe it's a porn. Uh-uh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no. Mm-hmm. Get some shit. Oh, baby. Let me go. All right. All right. What the, what the fuck is this? What do you want from me? Oh, oh, what do you want from me? <laughs> All the way to Karen. Your two bit bitch boy dealer. Slam! How do they know my name? How do they know my name? How do they know my name? You say he's been operating on our turf and. Oh, me, we do not take too kindly to people poaching our I haven't done shit! I, haven't done, I just do my own thing! It's at 783 Pinecrest Cove. You gonna tell them where we live? I didn't tell them shit! I don't know what the fuck this is. Do we want my fucking things? No. Oh. What the fuck? This is bullshit. I'd say that's around, what, 40, dollars $50,000. No, don't do that. How the fuck would they know that information? Return every dollar you skimmed off of us, or I can promise you a much worse fight than this. <laughs> please, please just let me go. Oh, oh, oh. Tanya! We gotta go. We gotta rock and roll. Let's get the fuck out of town right now. God, they're gonna fucking kill us. Are you coming? You never told me that you had this much heat on you. We can't go I now. I will fucking wear! God damn it! God! I gave you the opportunity of a lifetime and you sold me out, you backstabbing bitch. I'm backstabbing? You wanna talk? All you gave me was another shitty sales job with no insurance. You're fired, by the way. Penal code 2004, aggravated kidnapping. Up to 99 years. Faking it all just might win you a full ride to law school. <laughs> oh my god. We did that. I wasn't too, I wasn't too rough, was I? No. No? No. Okay. Good, we good, good. 
Nice touch. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Little bit of this. Oh, little yeah. Little bit of blah, blah, blah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I'm hungry. You want to get some food? Let's go. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. High five. I can't believe we just did that. I know. Dude, you're going to law school. I'm going to law school. I'm going to law school. And I, I felt powerful with my mask. You looked stunning. Did I? Was it scary? Yes. Look at this. Ooh, I'm so spooked. You're spooked. You're spooked. This is my worst hair day, I feel. I look gorgeous. I think we should do this again. Jacob, tell me what you're thinking, <laughs> Mr. Serious. I don't know. I think I'm just happy. Yeah, me too. I have those um, videos he used to take of y'all on the bike. If you wanted to come by and watch them sometime. That's cool. Up to you. I get it. You know, I know. Y'all were close. I guess, I mean, not really. I should go. I told my mom I'd help her with something, so.
Yeah, yeah, dude. Fucking, <laughs> fucking nice out. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> 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 Alright, so we're gonna go Hello. I'm busy. I just uh, want, I think that it would help to like talk. I didn't ask for your help. Yeah, you got all them, right? Can you please just go? I know how important he was to you. Don't lie to yourself. Yeah, don't fucking lie about me either. Look, I'm not like you. Okay? Fuck off. Go home. He was my friend too. I know, you, you talk to him. You take care of him. It's fucking pathetic how good you are at this, man. And pretending like he never existed just fixes everything. Yeah, right? you don't get it. You don't get it. You have everybody. You know, in a year you won't even remember him. You'll just be surrounded by all these assholes with no That's feelings. That's not true! No one ever mattered as much as him. Then fucking act like it. Do you see people lining up to hang out with me? I don't have anybody now. Nothing even comes close. And you just, you think that you're the only one that lost anything. Look, do you think you could just, like, bring those videos by my house or something? He wouldn't want it like this.
Los Estados Unidos es una tierra de oportunidad. Que te promete todos los sueños de su gente. Donde tú, tú vas a poder ser quien tú quieras ser. Es un lugar donde tú puedes soñar. Tu tío Paco, él está ahí. Y lo vas a encontrar en la tienda de vinilos, donde venden los discos de tus artistas favoritos. Él en sus cartas cuenta que, que es verdad, que es como en las revistas americanas que tanto te gustan, que es igualito que en la televisión. Lo encontrarás allí y también encontrarás a otros como tú que están allí por las mismas razones. Esto... Esto no es una despedida, mijo. Te veré pronto. ¿Y en tu cumpleaños? Bueno, vamos a pagar porque se nos hace tarde. Ah, pues. 
Hello, I, I like two lives. Um, yeah, it's gonna be forty two fifty nine. But you say fourteen ninety nine. Uh, where? No, that's for the Radiohead album. Someone must have left this Vincent record on there. Uh, ma, está bien. Sé que no se puede. <laughs> Mira, no más mi hombrecita. Bueno, vámonos. Pero ten. Vamos a moneda para la máquina de chicles, okay? Well, do you want it? Yes, okay. Bye, ma. Sara, es Víctor. Abre la puerta. Ya sé, tenía su dinero, pero... ¿Y luego? ¿Dónde está? Es que me falta. Le puedo pagar el resto de mañana. Mira, es el cumpleaños de Miguelito. Una semana tarde, ni siquiera, me puedo pagar la cantidad completa, Sara. Esta es la última vez. Vamos, le consigo el resto de mañana. De hecho, ahora mismo voy rumbo al trabajo. Bueno, te veré mañana. Pero te juro que esta es la última, Sara. La última. para la entrevista? Sí. Uh, ¿Me permite? Oh, no, por favor. Mi marido Toño tenía una corbata como esta. Bueno, adelante. Buena suerte. Gracias. Sí. Paco, I think that is that. I'm sure it'll be a pleasure working with you. We're going to start you at $15 an hour first thing Monday morning. Try to show you around the office, show you where your workplace is going to be. Creo que la veré por estas partes, doña... Sara. Soy doña Sara. Sara. Sí. Gracias de nuevo. Claro. Nos vemos el lunes. Nos vemos. Laura, ¿cómo estás? Espero que las cosas estén bien en México. La verdad es que no... No quería preocuparlos. Las cosas han sido más difícil de lo que pensé aquí en los Estados Unidos. No es como decían nuestros papás que sería. 
ha sido difícil desde que me despidieron. Apenas he podido enviarte estas cartas. A veces extraño nuestro hogar. Te extraño a ti y a la familia. No he olvidado de dónde soy. Nunca podemos olvidarlo. Dios no lo olvidará. Sin embargo, estoy bien. Las cosas finalmente están comenzando a mejorar. Espero que ahora escuches de mí más seguido. No puedo esperar a traerte a ti y a los niños. Con mucho cariño, tu hermano, Paco. Right on schedule today. Got it, Eli? Yes. Same as yesterday. And the day before that. And the day before that. And the day before that. Okay. Come on. Come on. Sudoku, people. Done! I don't want to be his finger. Hey, can we come watch the play today? No, no audience, sorry. The Kingdom Hof never been stronger than it is on this glorious day. Isn't that right, Lady Princess? Why, yes. And it is all because of the fearless leadership of thy king, me, King Ronan. 
for I have battled the foes from the west, the east, and the north, and I have defeated them all. Comes grave danger this way. Come, butler. Oh no. Um. Ah, I'm famished. The day's hot, is it not? Don't drop anything, butler. These are highly valuable. <laughs> now, do you have an important message to deliver? Well said, Eli. I'm a loser. Who called you that? You don't have to be called a loser to be a loser. Then what happened? I just, I'm tired of never being the winner or the king. You know, when I was your age, my friends and I, we didn't used to do plays or anything like that. We used to do magic. Like magic tricks? Sort of, yeah. Let me show you something. Take this petal and rip it up until it's just tiny little pieces, okay? Mix that up into a cup of water. Drink the whole glass right before you go and see your friends. And what happens? You won't be a loser anymore. Got a great show coming up. Yay! Yay! Let's go, guys! Despite my little butler suddenly going mute yesterday, <laughs> I guess the promotion of a pet to your butler proved to be too much for me. Anyway, still got room for some grave danger to come. What's Grave danger this way comes! Butler, you startled me. Well, I'm no longer a butler. In fact, King Ron, I'm your son, Prince Elijah. And therefore, I'm the rightful heir to the throne. Is this true? Grave danger if this way comes, lady. I'm, I'm your son. So what was all that? What do you mean? Just stick to what we rehearsed, Eli. Come early tomorrow and don't ask questions. It's time for his run to end. Are you sure this is what helped you?
horses. You must gather the men. Fetch me my white stallion. Ready the cannons. Ready the swords. My reign shall not end today. Well, I must ring on your parade, father. The crown is mine. I challenge my own blood to battle. Blood there shall be. No way to address King Eli. Neil, please. You know what? If you're just gonna be like this and ruin the play, then I'm done. Could you grab the snack platter while you're out? I'm famished. <laughs> Your head's too big for that crown and red's not your color. Do you need something? I don't like being the king. Heavy lies the head that wears the crown. Shakespeare. Never mind. My friends hate me. That plant ruined my life. It's just a plant, Eli. I made it up. Really? Yes. It's literally just a flower. It doesn't have any magic powers. I can't believe you fell for that. And your friends, they don't hate you, okay? Now get out of my room. I'm sorry, 
I was worried you guys weren't going to come. We're here. Well, what do you want to do instead? Sudoku? No. no. Anything but that. Hmm. We could play tag. Or, ooh, or we could use that bow and arrow to... Oh, what about infection? We could play a time machine.